Hi my love, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your monthly forecast for the month of April for Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising signs. That being said, the cards that it is that I've pulled for you are from the Goddess Oracle and this is Sorceress. The next cards are Nature Speak, the Nature Oracle Speak deck. One is Sunflower, Happiness at Hand. And the next one is Meadow, Growth and Abundance. And from the Rider Waite, we have Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Now, for those of you guys that don't know how I do readings, I pretty much work with the tarot in a way that allows my intuition to kind of speak for itself. I don't stay exclusively confined to the definitions of those cards. I really allow my intuition to kind of speak forward because that's what works for me. So if you hear me sharing a message for you and to you, it's not because, you know, it doesn't come from the definition alone, it's coming from my intuition. And I just allow myself to kind of unfold as I'm sharing these messages. But that being said, the first thing that comes through for me as I'm looking at your cards is the fact that it does seem like something here is budding and growing. Obviously, that's meadow, growth and abundance. When we look at a meadow and we're looking at nature oracle, it's so open, it's so expansive. There's so many things that can come in from any direction. But the thing is, is that I see for you, for the month of April Sagittarius, I'm seeing this as don't sit, it's time for you to act, meaning that don't sit on an idea. Don't sit on, this is what I want. Don't sit on, I keep thinking about this person, but I'm not gonna act on this. Or don't sit on, okay, I need this thing, you know, but I'm gonna wait for it to come in. Whatever it is that you need, or whatever it is that is sparking within you, is what you need to act upon. And there is a big message that is coming through, and I don't know if it's, again, because Sagittarius, you're connected to Jupiter, and you're connected to the world, and this bigger, grander picture, and I'm so sorry to put this weight on you, but it's almost as if it's in your energy right now in order to think about the other and give what is needed. And to start off small, it doesn't have to be this big, grand gesture, but it is thinking about and pushing out happiness out there and sharing that happiness. I see you doing this for others, but I also see, see you doing this for yourself. I'm seeing you building, meaning building a, a brand, building your, your life, building your future, building relationships, connecting, but I do see you taking the first step. Now, I don't know how you feel about that, because some people are like, well, I've done enough, and I understand that, I totally understand that. For some relationships or for some things, you can put in a lot and a lot and a lot and feel like you may not be you know, giving, you know, getting enough out of it or getting enough in return. I understand that 100%, and it's up to you to decide what it is that you're gonna give you know, what, what it is that you're gonna give out into this world or how much more of yourself you're gonna give to a certain circumstance or a certain person. If that's the case, and if you're already depleted and you know lacking energy, then that's fine. Then this message doesn't apply to that. It could be something else. But ultimately, what I am seeing is okay. You know, whatever it is that you need, create it. Whatever it is that you need, ask for it. Connect with the right people. Call it in. Do more. Again, by doing more, in order to build your growth, in order to attract this abundance in your life. It doesn't have to be this huge, elaborate thing. Sometimes, especially you Sagittarius, you have these visions, this dream, this idealistic perspective that can be so huge and larger than life, which is awesome. That's what makes you, you. That's the energy and the essence and the vibration of you know the beauty of what it is that you bring. But sometimes it doesn't have to be this huge chunk that it is that you bite and swallow, because if you did, you would choke on it. It's a lot of times it's these baby steps. So start off small, these little seeds. And that's the other thing too with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles realizes that it is this like slow and steady growth and it takes its time. It's putting a little seed here, putting a seed here in order to eventually build this full meadow, in order to build this garden, in order to build something that gives you happiness. This Six of Pentacles also sitting right next to that is a card of give a little and also of asking, it depends. What is this for you for the month of April and stay open to this message? Are you receiving or are you giving? But ultimately, I do see you kind of create, calling the shots and 
calling in what it is that you need. Part of this is connected to magic and intention and prayer, the energy and the vibration of what it is that you're putting out there. That's why the Sorceress card is there. It shows you how powerful you are, how magical you are, and calling your reality, call, like shaping your reality but by what the, the essence of what it is that you're putting out. But either way, it's maybe, you know, doing, you know, not giving up, not walking away from something because I'm actually emceeing some growth happening here and enjoying the process as you go along. So that's what it is that I see for you, my love. Um, let your let your action, let it be inspired, be enlightened by certain things. Again, if there's a friend that pops up in your head, then instead of, you know, thinking about them, text them. If there's, if your mom is going through something or your family is going through something or family member, instead of, you know, just doing the bare minimum, go a little bit above and beyond and send them flowers. Be that joy, like bring, being, be that happiness, that abundance, that goodness, that it is that really only you can do it the way that you do it, Sagittarius, because you have such beautiful vibes and, you know, a joyful spirit. And that's what it is I'm seeing is this inspired action. And something about that is almost kind of restoring the balance that as you give to the right things and to the right people, as it's inspired, if it's inspired, is where you're going to see a lot of growth. It's almost like law of attraction. Like again, when something pops in your head, instead of you waiting for it to come in, even though you've called it in, maybe take that first step and initiate it just a little bit. That's what it is that I'm seeing. And I'm seeing this in all areas of your life. But the other thing too is I really want you to listen to your intuition when it comes to this because some of you guys have been giving a lot of yourself and I understand that some areas if that's the case it's time for you now to be a little bit more on the receiving end so maybe don't give a, you know any more maybe call it in through your intention through magic but in other areas I do see you kind of t going the extra mile and taking that first step the other thing is that when you are moving, don't think with your ego, think with your heart. Think of others when you are doing things for others. Let it be inspired action, let it be enlightened steps and move in small ways, in thoughtful ways, in meaningful ways when it pops up in your head because you're gonna see a lot of growth and reward coming for you, to you because of that. All right, I hope that that message makes sense to you, Sagittarius. If you love this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and you turned on your notifications so that you're updated when I have a next the next video coming. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.